everyone. Happy Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. And today in the vlog-ish style video, I wanted to show y'all a couple new products. So I got this a few weeks back. I've tried it once or twice, but it's the Aqua Petite Jelly BB Cream by Holica Holica. Now I got this on Amazon and there's only a few shades but um, I got the lightest one and here's the little box let me tell you what it says it says it's a jelly <laughs> okay the description of it kind of makes me laugh it says jelly BB makes moist and bouncy jelly skin has jelly texture that helps spread evenly and creates fully hydrated and shiny skin it's also perfect for covering up blemishes and then it says it's mint water that hydrates your skin and marine jelly complex that makes your skin soft and bouncy. And then it says do not eat. So don't eat this. How cute is this little jar though? Oh my gosh. I love getting stuff off Amazon makeup stuff, especially, I don't know, stuff that you don't typically hear about. Um, my friend Leslie, Lip Gloss Leslie, told me about this. I know she got it too. Okay, so it comes with a little spatula, kind of like the Wet n Wild one, but the consistency is so different. It's like, um, it's like jelly. It's like jelly. I will tell y'all, I'm going to start applying this. I will tell y'all that whenever I got this, um, it was like it had spilt, it had leaked out built I just make that word up it had leaked out so um but the product inside was fine okay today is my first day to drink coffee in like over a year and I'm going to find my beauty blender and dab that out while I talk um I got almond creamer almond vanilla creamer and because I was thinking that it was the creamer that was upsetting my stomach after I would drink coffee. But I could only drink like a little bit more than half of that coffee in my stomach. It like feels really full. It feels really, really full. And I don't like that feeling. Like I don't like feeling all full and bloated. So I don't know what the deal is. I guess my body just can't do coffee. As much as I love the flavor and like the fact that it gives me caffeine and energy i just it always ends up being too heavy on my stomach does anybody else feel that way so uh -huh. there is one even layer of skin i have my robe on y'all um it looks really good it looks like skin still it doesn't look like i really have any makeup on at all actually which, if you've been watching my videos, you know that's what I've been loving. I kind of want to see if it will build up around my chin. Um, but yeah, like I said, I have been loving very minimal foundation looks. Like, I still, I've been still wanting to see through and see my skin. So, it doesn't get cakey or anything as you build it. Um, and that did add a little bit of coverage, but this is a BB cream that feels so super lightweight it feels like I don't have any makeup on my face like when I'm smiling like I don't feel like I have makeup I don't know if that makes sense but um okay so there that is and then the other thing new I wanted to try with y'all we're gonna move to the eyes this is the Zoeva cocoa blend eyeshadow palette I got this last night like I got it in the mail last night now Zoeva is an overseas company but you can order and they'll ship to the United States or you can order it on Amazon. I ordered mine on Amazon because it was, the palette was more expensive on Amazon, but because I'm a Prime member, I got free shipping and it ended up being cheaper than if I would have bought it from the site and paid shipping. You feel me? So, I saw Melissa Autry, which she always, seriously, always makes me want to purchase stuff she did a video with this and i i had i i had actually got on the site and put it in my cart a few times like within the last year or so i'm gonna use the nars soft matte um complete concealer as a eyeshadow base um and i would add it to my cart and then decide you know what i don't need it which i did that yesterday with um 
the Pirates of the Caribbean, the Lorac, the face palette. I'm like drooling over that face palette. Honestly, I might go to Ulta today and just swatch it because I know they have it at my local store. Um, I might swatch it, but I'm trying to not buy it. But anyway, I went almost a full year succeeding in not buying this palette, but when Melissa used it the other day, I was like, oh, yes, I need it, I need it. So, um, and funny enough, one of the main reasons I wanted this palette was for this shade, which you're like, girl, that is so basic. It's called Bitter Start. Um, I love these shades. Like, I swatched this last night, by the way. I love these kind of shades. Look, in the Modern Renaissance palette, that was this shade right here, which is kind of like that one, was the first one gone. In my Peanut Butter and Jelly palette, first one gone. I don't know, I just use these every day and they brighten up your eyes and you can use them, so I'm gonna take that. You can use them to set your concealer or whatever eyeshadow base you're using, you know what I mean? And it just gives you a good canvas, girl. Ooh, that's so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna take Substitute for Love, which by the way, if you're a teacher, happy Teacher Appreciation Day. Um. This one in the pan, if you look really close, it looks like there's possibly some shimmer in it. But as you see, blended into the crease, you can't see any shimmer, satin, sheen, nothing. It just looks like there's glitter particles in here, but even when I swatch it on my finger, it doesn't, it doesn't come off. Like I, the, the shimmer doesn't come off. Look at that color. Oh my gosh, so pretty. So thank you everyone who was so sweet on our blog yesterday about our chickens. If you didn't watch it, I will definitely put it in a card. I've been liking vlogging. I don't know. I just don't know what I'm doing on my channel, y'all. It'll always be about makeup and it'll probably be about my everyday life as well, but I just don't know if I'm gonna do like straight makeup, straight vlogs, a mix of both, probably a mix of both. Anyway. Um, but in that vlog, you will see that our dogs ate our chickens. And you guys were so sweet telling me not to feel guilty. Thank you so much. I definitely, definitely needed to hear that, y'all. Um, okay, I'm going to take this color Freshly Toasted, which is a really warm. It reminds me of Makeup Geek Cherry Cola. Is that it? Or Americana, both of them. And I'm just going to put this on the outer corner of my eye. That is so pretty. These shadows, I mean, you can see as I apply them, just like blend themselves. It's weird. You see that? I don't even have to work for that. <laughs> You're a little, little bust. <laughs> You're so cute. Come on. You're a little bust. <laughs> doing hot yoga today so I don't know why I'm doing makeup but you guys whenever you get something new in the mail don't you want to use it okay this is pure what how do you say g-a-n-a-c-h-e pure ganache ganache if you're fancy I'm just gonna take this on a flat shader brush and put it all over the lid that's pretty, but I want to see how it will look if we make it like metallic or if we wet it. Doesn't do much, does it? I mean, it's pretty. It's just not, I don't know. Like when I swatched it, I thought it would be a lot more shimmery, maybe, metallic. But that's a pretty everyday look. Mm -hmm. Let's put a little bit dark of darkness on the outer V, maybe. Just because I want to use another color. I'm going to take this color Beans Are White, which seems to me like the darkest shade in the palette. Kind of a funky name, but I'm just putting it on that outer corner right there. Yep, these are nice. Even that really dark shade just like blends itself. 
<laughs> that's amazing. That's really pretty. Look how easy they are to blend. I kind of want to wear this maroon color on like my lower lash line. So I'm gonna put on mascara and concealer and all of that and then I'll come back and add that to the lower lash line and we'll see what that looks like. Dude, I want one of those. <laughs> okay. Well, I Did like you sleep this good? one because it doesn't have the foot stuff. Oh, I see. That one looks no, comfy. You, yeah. You okay, the hose is in the shower. So if y'all hear that in the background, that's what that is. I applied most of the rest of my makeup, but I am going to go in with the color Warm Notes. That really pretty, like, maroon shade with a pencil brush. And I'm going to put that on my lower lash line. Um, today is, like I said, it's Wednesday. And Wednesdays are family game night. So I think I'll vlog a little bit of that. Also today, we're gonna, of course, do homeschool. All of the boys have finished their, um, everything except for their math curriculum. So they finished their language arts for the year. They finished their history for the year. They finished their science, all of that. They're just still working on their math because Sometimes we take a few days, like if it's something a little bit harder, we'll take a few days with that subject. So math, we're always kind of extended on. Um, but I have decided that they're going to do math and then we're going to do some Bible study. So right now we're reading the book of John and like their verses and their um, spelling words and all that stuff is in that. Just until we finish the math curriculum and then, and then... It is summer for us, which I'm super excited about. Um, so our homeschool days are a little bit shorter right now. Just because we're done with most of it. We start at the beginning of August, so we're finished a little bit before everyone else. Okay, that's really pretty on the lower lash line. So let me run through what else I put on my face. I have been eyeballing the Marc Jacobs. Um, it's in a white package, but it's their bronzer. And I think it's this one, Tantric. I'm not sure, but I remembered that I had a little sample of this. So that's what I'm wearing. It is a little bit warm. I wouldn't recommend like the full size because it's a little bit warm for a contour, but it's pretty for a bronzer. And then I'm using the CoverGirl True Blend Blush. And this one's in, does this even have a color? It says 200 medium. These are really pretty. And then for this glow, all I have on is the Ciate Dewy Stick. I just dabbed it on with my finger. And then on my lips is Lip Sense. And this is Sassy Z. Um, and that's it for my face today. So, I'm going to make beef stew for dinner. And like I said, I have hot yoga and then it's game night. So, I'm going to vlog a little bit and put some footage at the end of this. But there's my makeup for the day. Overall, I really like this palette. I think that the shimmer shades could be a little bit more popping, but it is a really pretty, like, everyday look. And I liked that color on the lower lash line. I need some dry shampoo. <laughs> y'all with the team beanie. See if I bought it right now. Nope. Okay, Bradley and I are gonna head to Walmart real quick because it's Wacky Wednesday, so that means it's family game night. So, we are going to go to Walmart and get a game. Last week we got Gestures and Clue. 
So let's see what we end up with this week. Have you guys heard of this brand at Walmart now? I don't know if they're cruelty free or what, but this looks just like the oh Anastasia God, Modern Renaissance. Yeah, Look at that. Just pulled up to hot yoga and I'm early of course. Fun fact about me is I'm like always er early unless I'm with Brad. I took off my eye makeup but that um, eyeshadow palette ended up lasting like all day. I just took off my eye makeup because I sweat so much in yoga and it gets in my eyes and ain't nobody got time for that. I did leave that BB cream on that I wore. Um, just because I'm gonna take a shower and wash my face later. I didn't want to do like my whole skincare thing, you know, before hot yoga because I would have to come home and wash my face anyways. Um, but I'm headed in there. I'm pretty sure my sister's meeting me um, because we're gonna take this class together and then I'm gonna go home and play the video, or the video game, the board game, the new game that we got at Walmart. I'll show you guys what we got. Um, it looks like a really fun game. Brad is working at a police department tonight, so he won't be home till late, so he's gonna miss family game night. But um, yeah, I'm excited to hang out with the boys after I work out.